Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly why sometimes getting rejected by Apple is a good thing. Now, I just got my rejection here from Apple and it says that there is a crash on my application and that's the good thing about it. If there is a crash in your application, you get to find out. Now, they do include all these logs. I got four different logs for all the crashes that came along with the show. If you read it, unfortunately, it does look like a bit of garbage. I mean, what's 0x1008? I mean, this memory address plus is where the actual crash happened. It also tells you some useful information. For example, if it uses ARM and what kind of iPhone model it's crashing on. And this one is an iPhone XR, which unfortunately I've never actually tested my application on, but thankfully Apple have said, yo, it's crashing. And I've got four different instances of the log and it all seems to be crashing on the iPhone XR, exact same memory location. So this should be an easy crash to fix as long as I know what, <laughs> what the line of code is that's crashing. Now there's a few ways to identify that line of code and I'm just gonna show you the easiest one. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to that file, you wanna save it on your drive and then you just launch Xcode, devices and simulators, and then you click on view device logs. You click on all logs, and then in Finder, you find the crash report, you just downloaded it, and you rename it to .crash. As soon as it's named .crash, you can just drag and drop it in the window. And as long as you sort by date and time, you should see the latest one there, you'll be able to find it. And boom, it updates automatically and tells you the exact line of code that the code has crashed on. So it tells me for me, it's crashed on the function PIP updated and it's line number 2,570. So as long as you revert back to the file as you submitted it to Apple, you should go to that line of code and find out exactly why it was crashing. For me, it was a simple no check that I wasn't doing. I was assuming that all phones have three cameras because I've only ever tested it on one of these iPhone Pro edition models that have the three at the back, whereas the XR unfortunately only has two. So easy, no check for me, but that's an easy way on how to simulate your crash logs. There is another way to do it if you have issues with Xcode and you still need Xcode, but instead what you wanna do is you go into Organizer and you find the archive that you submitted to Apple. Then you right click it, you click Show in Finder. And that'll tell you the path to the archive that you submitted to Apple. Then you right click that, Show Package Contents, and you're looking for the DSIM folder and you wanna find your application.dsim file. Once you've got that, you wanna jump into Terminal and you wanna find an application called Symbolocate Crash. You run that and that'll tell you exactly where in Xcode that cool terminal tool lives. So there you go, it's found me a list of all the variable locations of that file. So paste that in, hyphen V, open quote, and then I get the TXT file drag it in there, close the quote, and then open quote, and I get the DSIM file, close, and run it, and it'll spit out a translated version of that crash report. I then command A, copy everything, launch up Sublime Text, or any note editor, paste it in there, and I'll just search for my app, there it is, the crash log, it's about in the middle of the page, and again, it says PIP updated, line number 2570, so that's another way of doing it in the command line if for some reason devices and logs doesn't work in Xcode. And I guess this way is cooler because you can specifically get the archive that you want to use to translate the crash report. So I hope you found this uh, quick tutorial on how to simplify your, how to simplify your crash logs and why rejections are sometimes useful. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.